Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. Now this is how to install Mac OS X Yosmite on your Windows PC. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the description, you wanna download uh, VirtualBox. There it is, Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. You can even go on their site, just Google it. Go to downloads, download it. Next, you wanna go on to description and you wanna download the torrent file right here. Mac OS X, Yosemite, and you want to download the key. The key is how you really access it. So without it, it's just a text document, so it's not bad. Okay, so first thing you want to do is open up your VM. Click New. Now we're going to name it. Now I already have one here, so I'm just going to name it another name. Mac OS X YouTube. Then you do to type Mac OS X. Mac OS X, yep, that's good, I guess. Okay, select your memory size. For this one, like, I had, this is two gigs of RAM. So, and it was pretty slow. So I would say, depending on how much RAM you have, just like bump it up somewhere. I'm gonna do around 7,000 megabyte. Now here you do choose existing uh, virtual hard drive. Since you already have it downloaded right here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just zoom it in. And then you do choose existing, you click the little folder here, go to your desktop, Mac, and then you'll click right here. Double click it. Alright. Now you right click on it, go to settings, system, and change chipset to PII, PIIX3. Then make sure your acceleration is turned on. If it's not turned on, then you gotta enable it in your BIOS. Somewhere there, you just look on YouTube somewhere. Video memory, you just bump this up, like 30 or 29. And then everything just stays the same. Click OK. There it is. Now close that and reopen it with admin. And now go to your command prompt. Right click, run as admin. Yes, what's this warning? All right. Okay, now what you wanna do is go to your Mac OS, no wait, you wanna go here, and you want to go to properties, and you wanna copy this, start in control C, then go back to here and do control, no wait, CD, control paste. Get rid of the apostrophes here, whatever they're called. So CD is current directory, so click on it, and that's your current directory. Now you're in VirtualBox, so now you exit that, and you go to Mac OS X. Now first you go into here, you right click, go to settings, copy this name, control C, exit, go to your key, and now you do edit, replace, uh, replace with this, and find what? Find Yoss might retail control C. Replace all. There we go, now it's all replaced. Now basically all you gotta do is highlight copy, right click, paste. Let it load. Do it for every single one. Paste, okay. I'm going to do it in order too. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Just do it. Copy, paste, enter. Perfect. Enter.
No, everything's done. Now close it, close it, don't save, close it, close everything out. Reopen with uh, admin. And start it. Alright, well my SD card was full and they just closed the video. Okay, so I deleted the other one because I already have one loaded. So I have to delete this one, but anyways, I'll just load this one up for you guys. That's the whole process basically. So you just click start after you've done that. Make sure you run it as admin, click start, and then you'll have like, uh, you have all this text loading up. I'll show you here. It's probably, it'll probably load up here. Yeah, you have exactly the same here. Is it focused or not? Let it all load up. You'll have the exact same process basically. Except you'll just, uh, you'll get that pop-up screen like, welcome to Apple. And then you type in, uh, you want your username, your Apple ID, just click skip. Skip it all. There we go. Oh, wait, cancel, cancel. There we go. Now the reason mine's fast, I noticed, because I my RAM is high. When I had my RAM at like two gigs, it was going pretty slow. But also don't don't like if you have six gigs, don't put six gigs on. Or if you have eight gigs, don't put seven gigs or eight gigs. You have to have some memory for like your actual PC to run. I would say if you have eight, do like maybe max I do is five that's me personally because I have like everything else running I got like um, Chrome running in the background also you need a WinRAR to extract the file so download that in the description too come on load up Also, if you guys want to see any other videos, just message me. There we go. So now on this screen, you will have like, welcome to Apple. And then you type in all your stuff. Let me type in my password. Boom. And you are in. Just like that. Let me zoom out a bit. So you can see, let's go to Safari. Where's Safari? It's a bit laggy. I guess that's because it needs more RAM or something. Click on Facebook. It's right there. Facebook loads up. So it's pretty cool. You can do anything you want. Customize it. Preferences. So that is how you get Mac OS X Yasmite on your Windows PC. So if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.